Imagine a future where you can have something just by thinking about it. Thirsty. Hungry. New clothes. Well, in the world of design, that future is here. With Canva's free text to image app, you can visualize your imagination in seconds. Hi, I'm Pothik, principal picture and video nerd here at Canva. I'm super excited to share with you Canva's text to image app. We'll cover what it is, how to use it, and how to save time, and also how to boost creativity by including in your workflow. Plus, most importantly, how to write prompts that'll generate the best images every time. But while you're sitting on the edge of your seat saying, tell us Pothik, show us the future. Let me do a little plug for Canva's YouTube channel. Every week, we publish design tutorials that will take you from an amateur to a Canva master in no time. Plus, we're in the process of launching a very magical suite of tools and features. So now's the best time to stay in the loop. One of our newest features, the text to image app, lets you create amazing images just by describing what you want to see in seconds. I know, right? What is this? Sorcery? Did they just put a wizard's hat on me? Why am I not surprised? Actually, I've always been accused of being more of a professor than a wizard. I've got this potentially annoying professor-like cadence when I'm speaking about tech. Let me know in the comments if I fall into that. Anyway, text to image is powered by machine learning and prompted by your imagination. It converts your prompt into low dimensional token embeddings, which in turn are fed into a unit and scheduler to hallucinate a processed image information tensor, which then in turn is run through a variational autoencoder decoder to generate a three channel RGB image. Simple, really. Look, it's really just better if I show you. Let's begin by creating some art and having a bit of fun. From the home page, go to App Marketplace. When you click on the text to image tile, you'll be asked whether you want to have it in an existing design or in a new design. For now, let's go for new. It'll ask you what you'd like to create. I'll choose a flyer. Of course, if you already have a design open, you can find text to image by going to the apps tab on the left. I'll show you that later. Once you're in the app, you just describe what you'd like to create. This is the hardest part. You can literally create anything. How do you choose? There are these pre-canned prompts if you're stuck. It's a bit like a surprise me button. It's a great way to start the process. Okay, I think I've got one. Type in your prompt here. The more descriptive you are, the better the output. It helps to tell it what style you want as well. You can also choose the style here and what size you want here. Hit generate and sit back and wait. It's so quick. As you can see, it gives you a few results. If there's any you like, click on them and they'll appear in the editor. Don't like them? Ask it to generate some more or adjust your prompts. Okay, let's make this a little bit more difficult. Oh. I'm liking this one. Once it's in the editor, you can add other elements to it. Text, whatever you like, really. Want to share it with your friends? That's easy. Just go here and create a view only link. This is what they'll see and they can even react to it down here. Okay, time to get more serious. Let's just say that I'm a bicycle shop owner and I want to create a witty post about my upcoming clearance sale before I move into a new space. So let's find a sale template by typing sale in the search bar. All right, I like this one. Now let's create a unique image. On the editor side panel, I'll click on apps and then click on text to image. Now, before we describe the photo, first let's define what message we'd like to send out and form a visual concept. For this post, I'd like my customers to know there's gonna be massive discounts and that the store is moving to a new location. I want my poster to be memorable and funny. So let me try this prompt. A high quality full body photo of an astronaut riding a bicycle in outer space. It's important to be specific about what you wanna generate. This one looks cool. Let's place this in the design. Right click and replace background. Now, add our text. Change some of the colors to match the brand. 
Oh, better add the logo too. It'll be very easy to drop a new image into the background and keep everything else as it is. I'll have a whole campaign in no time. Outer space, we're moving out to a new space. Get it? Okay, moving on. Great question. There's no easy answer as it's also new, but currently Canva doesn't make any copyright claim over the images you create with text or image. However, this doesn't mean that you're the copyright owner of the images, nor have exclusive rights to them either. So just be aware that while you can use them, other people, if they use the exact same prompts, might end up with quite a similar outcome. In a similar way, if you use the app to create recognizable characters or brands, these are probably protected by copyright or trademarks. So if you plan to use them, just like any other image, you'll need to get permission from the rights owner. All right, let's toy with a basic subject and use the app to quickly make a funny meme. First, let's find a meme template. I'm thinking of going for a before and after coffee concept. Oh, here's one, ready to go, with a cat. Everyone on the internet loves cats. I wanna say something slightly different with photos though. Now, it's time for the magic. Let's create photos. That one will work. Adorable cat is way too generic as a prompt. So let's think of accessorizing the cat for added cuteness. A happy, adorable, funny orange cat with eyeglasses and a bow tie inside of an office, close up shot, portrait. Notice how I specified the background as well. The more info, the better. Oh, this one's lovely. And done. See how that helped visualize the concept in a matter of seconds? That's Canva magic, folks. Including this powerful app in your workflow is gonna be a game changer. Let's say you're an artist and you're asked to draw an illustration of a character, and I don't know, a, a kitchen. Use the app to create relevant background scenes. Do you need a specific angle, lighting, detail, color, or resolution? Include them in your description as well. Or maybe you need to illustrate a fantasy background. These are perfect to use as a model and get you started. It's like having a creative sidekick, right? Prompt writing is its own art, so feel free to experiment, let your imagination power this tech to its full potential. But remember, as Spider-Man said, with great power comes great responsibility. Be transparent. In my opinion, it's best practice to disclose that the image has been AI generated. Passing the images off as your own creation is, well, a bit insincere and can cause you more trouble in the future. I'd suggest putting a little disclosure like this in the description. Some people even put it in the name. Or you could add a little watermark in the bottom right corner. It's subtle, but it shows that you're not trying to mislead anyone. Be a good human. It's one of Canva's values. You could find out more information about licensing and best practice here. Now, are you also looking for some words of inspiration to kickstart your writing process? Well, Canvas Magic Write will help you do just that. Watch this video to learn more about that. I imagine you have a ton of questions about text to image. Put them in the comments and we'll be happy to answer them. But before you do that, I urge you to just go and try it out. It's really much easier to understand once you've tried it. Oh, hey, you're still here. Go and try text to image. Go, 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 go on. Oh, oh, you already have? How'd you find it? It's pretty fun, isn't it? If you want more videos to watch, check out the playlist. Or try this one. Perfect accompaniment to this video. We release new videos weekly and I'd hate for you to miss out. So like and subscribe to the channel before you head off. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to hear how you use text to image and how you visualize your ideas.